Shaw Money. Um, could you tell us about what Shaw Shaw Money with the OBH and everything? Yeah. Well, situation. I don't know what he meant the OBH. That was like a real friend of mine, though. You know what I'm saying? Like a really somebody I used to be with every day. When, you know, before he went to jail, even when he came home, you know, I took him out of New York, we did some rap, rap stuff out there. He was probably one of the hot, oh, man. He came home from jail on a different level. This was a, this was like a, it was kind of, it felt like it was his time, but he felt like, he always said he felt, whatever would happen to him, it was like he felt it coming. But he never really got into detail but he used to always say like, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't really trust everything. He was real cautious of how he moved. And you know, he got back door, he got snaked out, man. About some, I don't even know what it was about. I don't even know how he knew this dude himself. So I guess they was in jail together. I don't even know if the dude did it, but that's who, that's who locked up for it. And it's hard to piece it together because it's like, where's this connection? You know, I don't even like that. But. You, you believe in, like, intuition. You said, like, you felt it coming. You believe in things like that? You think it's real? Somebody can feel when they, if they come or feel anything coming in the, towards them? I don't know. Never happened to me. I can't really say what he felt. I mean, he said he felt it and it happened. You know what I'm saying? So. They don't got to be there to, like, save somebody about to come up with some money or something about a blessing about to come to, come to their life. You think people could feel things like that? Or you know, just what you think? I mean, maybe if they pay enough attention to themselves. I don't know. Um, talk. I want you to talk about the the good book mixtape. I mean, I know that you dropped the project before that, but the good um, book was a is a uh, was a collective. You know, I wrote all my lyrics, but the production, uh, some of the um, some of the hooks, it was done collectively. This was like one of the the most fun I had working on the album because I at that before that point I never worked exclusively with my producers. He just sending the songs, sending the beats, and I rap. But with this, I'm working exclusively with the producers on every track. To get the track, rap on it. But when they send a track to me. By the time they send a track to me, it's a totally different track that I read. Like these guys, musical geniuses. Crew Seven, musical geniuses, man. I'm talking about a bunch of them too. Singers, songwriters, producers, Grammy award-winning producers. You know, I did that. That was a great. I had fun working on that album, man. Yeah, it's your boy Philadelphia Freeway live from A Cav Two Twenty One South Fifty Second Street, man. I just got me some black love. I just got me some African king, some job love, and some frankincense, man. They got what you need in here, man. You know, so make sure y'all come support the brothers and have a good day, man. <laughs> and then you put like a short film to it, right? Like a short film. Yeah, I did a short film to it. It really was like, it really was like a, I wanted the, I wanted the good book to be like a, a guide that people can pick up in, like a manual to the streets, you know, without glorifying the streets. Like, no, take this route, we're gonna do this, take, that's all that really was. The whole album, it wasn't, not a negative lyric, not a, a, a lyric pointing towards negativity in the whole joint with like glorifying negativity or anything like that, not in the whole album. Got you. Um, they got rap gonna drop any music? Are they gonna drop something for the fans? I'm working on some. I'm working on some. If this get to go on, the first thing that we gonna drop is the uh, Broke the Glory. Yeah, well, That'd be crazy. If you drop that. Yeah. yeah. It's the first thing we gonna drop. If I get everything, you know how. I'm trying to do it on the app. I'm trying to do the a OBH app. Mm -hmm. So that's in the works. You know, once that's you know done, and the first the first piece of content we gonna put on there is the world report. Okay. And for that, just ideas is gonna be like, you gotta pay for the project or how how it's gonna work? No subscriptions. Okay. Well, it depends on what subscription you got. Mm -hmm. You got like a low, you know, the the, the lower subscription, then you have to pay for the projects. But if you got like a gold, you know, membership, 
then all the projects, anything OBH is free. I'm gonna do paying subscription. I did want to ask you, um, could you tell us a story about, um, with Sean Money? Like, there was a Sean Money story? The last time we just went to New York, right? I always thought I'd rap better than Sean. So when we went out there, we did like a Philly to New York song, right? Where it was three people from New York, three people from Philly, 12 bars of pizza, he write, write it right there. And he quiet, you know, I ain't really hear him since he came home. Me, Dad just came home. Shaq got out on everybody on that track and 12 surprised the hell out of me. That's why I'm like, listen, we rapping, man. That's it. Shaq got hot as shit, man. He was better than everybody on that track. I'm still trying to find that track. I hit Poe Rilla, trying to get that done with the studio that we recorded shut down. He don't know if they still got the music. But I'm trying to get that track done. You got to get out. Yeah, he went ballistic. He went ballistic on that. Yeah.